dollars. That the drainages are open. No central sewage system. Mosquitoes everywhere breeding inside the do you have good drainage system there? No. Do you have a central sewage system there? Everybody don't have to own each each sock away. No, you don't. Then what is there? Or is it the ocean? Because they are saying ocean view. You mean that black death? Maybe in Lagos is even smelling. Let's be honest. It's all our drainage system, we have stagnant water in there. Breeding mosquitoes, big, big mosquitoes. What's there? What's in Lagos? The houses should be sold for millions of dollars. What is here? When we are not organized, we don't even have good roads. Are there good roads in Banana Island? No. It's still your interlock that you have. An interlock that... I've come to be with you once again, and uh, we are going to talk about our situation, our environment, you know, and uh, what is really happening around us and the kind of mentality that we have about developing our cities, our places where we live. To be honest with you, I think uh, we've not started anything and I think we are not serious with that. And that's why people keep running abroad because we have not made ourselves the places we live to be more comfortable for us. Yes, um, somebody was, um, I came across a clip. The guy was saying exactly what I usually talk about you know, sometimes in my videos. Though his main focus was why? Why Banana Island will be sold at two million naira, two million dollars? Why has been land there? The buildings or whatever he said. Why are they being sold at two million dollars? That the drainages are open. No central sewage system. Mosquitoes everywhere breeding inside the gutters and the rest of them. Yes, I now remember that um, this is exactly what I usually talk about. And the guy was saying that there is no justification for that. There is nothing on earth that should make this house worth five million dollars. Nothing. If you've not traveled out of Nigeria, you will not know what true luxury is. Because this is what these realtors use in selling this house. Any smart thing, they will say luxury and exclusivity. You don't know what luxury is. What is luxury in Banana Island? Because I'm reading some of the comments that says uh, it's because of the land, that's why the house is expensive. What is there in the land? What is there in Banana Island that, that land should be sold for $2 million? What is there? Have you guys been to South Africa? Have you been to Cape Town? In an average area where, where houses are sold for around $250,000, they are finer than Banana Island. Have you been to Turkey? In an average area where you have beautiful condos, Turkey have lovely condos. It's finer than your Banana Island. So what is there in Banana Island that the lands are overpriced? Both the lands, both the house in Banana Island are all overpriced. Take it or leave it. It's the simple truth. What is there? Do you have a central gas system there? No. If you buy a house there, you will still have gas cylinder. Do you have central electricity there? No. Do you have good drainage system there? No. Do you have a central sewage system there? Everybody don't have to own each each sock away. No, you don't. Then what is there? Or is it the ocean? Because they are saying ocean view. You mean that black, dirty, smelly water? Is that what you call an ocean? Oceans are supposed to be bluish, but the one in Banana Island is black. It is dead, even an hazard to live close to it. That's how some of you bought houses in Lekki, 500 million, 600 million. And today you are using saturated water to bait. You are calling tanker every one, one week. You can't even bait. Then why did you buy those houses? You want to post. They deceived you. They sold to your ego. You see? That's how a lot of Lagos will come and be advertising one rubbish for millions of dollars. And if we say, yeah, we love it. We don't love it. It's rubbish. I'm an interior designer. So I know a good house when I see one. Not what you guys are building. And I've traveled as well. So I know. If you know, if you... That's why the other day I spoke about clothes. They were attacking me, saying targeted audience. In the UK, an average beggar can wear a Nike Air Force, original one. A beggar will be begging with Air Force One. 
It's not here that we are doing a better past my neighbor mentality. Increasing and over inflating your prices for no just reasons. Why? Everywhere in Lagos is even smelling. Let's be honest. Because all our drainage system, we have stagnant water in there. Breeding mosquitoes. Big, big mosquitoes. What's there? What's in Lagos? The houses should be sold for millions of dollars. What is here? When we are not organized, we don't even have good roads. Are there good roads in Banana Island? No. It's still your interlock that you have. An interlock after some time to see collapse. Then what is there? Do you have underground piping system? No. Using mouth to inflate prices. Using mouth to inflate That ordinary South Africa, should I say ordinary, is it easy to build a city like that? In fact, I saw a place in South Africa. Somebody was showing me. I will show you guys here. South Africa, just a normal place people live. See how organized it is. When you see an organized place now, you will know. Abba. Eh? See how organized everywhere. You know, you, how you see the walk, your sidewalk, very different, interlocked. You cannot see any open drainage, whatever, in, in there, around that place. Street in the here. In Ayana. Yeah, now nah, double lane. Double lane. Two lane this side, two lane the other side. In Ayana. Man, in Ayana. Nah, but like, they're complex, remember? It's not complex, I put that. Now. Now, she put that back. They can deal with us. Now, yeah. And they've been the heaven. If you can't call here. On where you to service lane, on you see a complex here, you see where But that, man, there's the major road there. There's the back of town, if you want to fair. On you have your lease, there's the back of town. Now, street town. There's the back of town. You have a walk, there's the thickness of this walkway. Nobody. Thickness here. Could you believe now, who's had to go like this? Mbiya, Obuda, no. Or do go like this and wipe your discounter. What I go? I know go more about that 15 years. Manuza, I can be crack. Uza enough for ever. It became ever for, uh, uh, for more than 10 years. Uza a crack. Ever. For once. I can be crack. After now, I say na na um, cement. I say na cement, concrete, concrete um, a road. Now, nah, last, the Kalia and uh, Yeah, boss. Yeah, boys, you bought it. You pass. Even if I want to it, destroy it. Due to a proper drainage system. Mill for all the knees. In a year, even I'm not going to walk away. Never this space. Never a year. Falling. Never in a year down there. Yeah, baby, mill mill is where I go. He ain't a son of Wazi, as he am ago. Up in Uzi, I was am ago twenty years, but on what Weber crack. For once, on Weber crack. I said, and then we call up on them with this thing ever. You know, go see him. You know, go see him. Yeah? He ain't kind of addition over down. One idea, one I knock it on, I want mother and me. One I buy him me. Yeah? In I am now. Now you know. He has only have two lane. Two lane, dear. On your choice by an accomplice, I know he has only the third lane, dear. On your by an accomplice. Third lane, dear. Especially a bear man, you call it wider. So on your choice by an accomplice, I call it easy. Two lane, yeah, they call on me. Flair. So, my brother, buying a can of fire, even Abuja, you know, Abuja and AG, Abuja and AG, a Christian Madonna. Ma Lagos age kuchi madonte. We are still far away. How you can ever tell her? Seriously. If not for maybe Abuja that has close drainages, good sidewalks, I don't know any other city that has that. Lagos, maybe some places in Lagos, not all. So what are we talking about? So I came to realize, you know, I put one and one and one together and what people have been saying. 
you know, concerning our place and uh, other small African countries that knows what they are doing. See, greed, greed has finished us. Everything is about greed, myself. Nobody cares what is happening around us. These other people, do they have two heads? Why do they have such good and livable environment than what we have here? Is it not time that we start doing what is right? I have said this several in my videos about stagnant water in the drainage system, open drainage system with stagnant water inside, breeding mosquitoes. I have shown them several. In fact, if I really want to show such things, in fact, people will, <laughs> people will run. But just the ones I come across sometimes, I will just flash them. These things are not good. We don't have cities. We don't have cities. Honestly, in Nigeria, what we have are slums. I, I will show you just a, a little clip of the, the play. I'm, not, I'm sure that it's not the major places in South Africa. Maybe some of these few, you know, uh, uh, part of cities in South Africa. They say Rwanda, Rwanda. This Rwanda you are hearing if you go to Rwanda. Very clean and neat. So we should find out what is happening to us. So, hmm? We we'll find out what is happening to us and we should do the right thing to have a livable environment. It's not about Anambra State. It's not about Southeast. Nigeria as a whole. Nigeria as a whole, something is really, really terribly wrong. The foundation is wrong. And some of these uh, countries in Africa that uh, the English people gave names, they have changed all their names. They've changed the names given to them and changed it to their own suitable names. Ghana, Rhodesia, which is South Africa, and uh, Zimbabwe. Okay, Zimbabwe, I think Rhodesia was Zimbabwe before. You know, they change these names at least to 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 have some kind of uh, you know um, balanced mentality for themselves. But some Nigeria decide not to. We leave our own name that give that was given by <laughs> another person from another country that decide to. In fact, let me not just go towards that side, but I will show you this clip of what this guy was saying concerning uh, the banana, the so-called banana island in Nigeria. You know, that the price is not supposed to be like that. Why should they play the price even when nothing is there? Nothing, according to what the guy was saying. So let me play this video. You hear it by yourself. Thank you. There is nothing on earth that should make this house worth $5 million. Nothing. If you've not traveled out of Nigeria, you will not know what true luxury is. Because this is what these realtors use in selling this house. Any smart thing, they will say, luxury and exclusivity. You don't know what luxury is. What is luxury in Banana Island? Because I'm reading some of the comments that says uh, it's because of the land, that's why the house is expensive. What is there in the land? What is there in Banana Island that, that land should be sold for $2 million? What is there? Have you guys been to South Africa? Have you been to Cape Town? In an average area where, where houses are sold for around $250,000, they are finer than Banana Island. Have you been to Turkey? In an average area where you have beautiful condos. Turkey, you have lovely condos. It's finer than your Banana Island. So what is there in Banana Island that the lands are overpriced? Both the lands, both the house in Banana Island are all overpriced. Take it or leave it. It's the simple truth. What is there? Do you have a central gas system there? No. If you buy a house there, you will still have gas cylinder. Do you have central electricity there? No. Do you have good drainage system there? No. Do you have a central sewage system there? Everybody don't have to own each each soak away. No. 
you don't then what is there or is it the ocean because they are saying ocean view you mean that black dirty smelly water is that what you call an ocean oceans are supposed to be bluish but the one in banana island is black it is dead even an hazard to live close to it that's how some of you bought houses in lucky 500 million 600 million and today you are using saturated water to bait you are calling tanker every one one week you can't even bait then why did you buy those houses you want to post they deceived you they sold to your ego you see that's how a lot of lagos will come and be advertising one rubbish for millions of dollars and if we say yeah we love it we don't love it it's rubbish i'm an interior designer so i know a good house when i see one not what you guys are building and i've traveled as well so i know if you know if you that's why the other day i spoke about clothes they were attacking me saying targeted audience in the uk an average beggar can wear a nike air force original one a beggar will be begging with air force one not here that we are doing a better past my neighbor mentality increasing and over inflating your prices for no just reasons why everywhere in lagos is even smelling let's be honest it's all our drainage system we have stagnant water in there breeding mosquitoes big big mosquitoes what's there what's in lagos the houses should be sold for millions of dollars what is here when we are not organized we don't even have good roads are there good roads in banana island no it's still your interlock that you have and interlock after some time to see collapse then what is there do you have underground piping system no the mouth to inflate prices using mouths to inflate